Okay, so Bill, while okay. you're while you're with us, we want to discuss astronaut Scott Kelly ending his nearly year-long mission in space. I've been following this, and I cannot believe he has been up there for all this time. But he's returning to Earth just in time for Super Tuesday, March 1st. Um, what do we know about the details of his return trip? Well, we know the timing is pretty bad because, as you say, he will land in Kazakhstan the night of Super Tuesday, U.S. time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's going to be wrapping up a 341-day 40 stay in space since he launched uh, last March with Mikhail Kornienko, a cosmonaut who's uh, up there with him on this long-duration flight. We haven't heard the results of any research yet. They've been collecting data the whole time. They've learned more about the effects of weightlessness, uh, space radiation, things like that on uh, future crews who will have to spend long periods of time in space on the way to Mars, for example, or other deep space targets. So I think everybody's waiting for him to get back, let the doctors have a chance to really get into the data and see what insights they can glean from that. He seems to be in good spirits. He certainly seems healthy. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to watch him get out of the spacecraft uh, next Tuesday night uh, and see how he, how he responds to gravity. Yeah, I mean, remind our viewers who might not be following this. He's a twin, and he's also the commander. Right. So for people looking at his Twitter handle there, it said, I think, Station CDR uh, Kelly. So that's Commander Kelly because he's the commander of the right. current International Space Station expedition. Um, but he's a twin, so they have this ability to compare results from Commander Kelly and his, and his twin. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Mark Kelly is a, also an astronaut. He's a retired shuttle commander. Uh, and before uh, Scott Kelly took off on this mission, they began collecting uh, samples from both brothers. And they've done this throughout the flight, both in orbit and on the ground with Mark Kelly. And they'll compare all of that because they have a, a very similar, obviously their genetic structure is very, very similar. And they'll get a really nice uh, control sample with Mark Kelly on the ground. Here's, here's a guy who never left gravity. Here's how he responded compared to his twin brother who's been out of the uh, influence of gravity for nearly a year. So it's a really interesting uh, experiment, very handy uh, to have twin shuttle commanders and a space station commander able to go up and do this. Yeah, just amazing. I can tell you, I will not only be following Super Tuesday results, but I will definitely be <laughs> watching to see uh, when Commander Kelly comes back. All right, Bill Howard for us. Bill, thank you so much. Hey, sure thing.